Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an interesting issue that has raised the worldwide community's interest that'll blow your mind. Prepare to be surprised as we plunge into the surprising turn of events surrounding how China is drilling a deep hole and what for. China is doing well and doing amazing things. Let's embark on this interesting journey together. As we uncover the amazing story of how a giant hole was drilled on the earth and why, we will discover the fascinating considerations that inspire these major projects as we dig into the fascinating world of the makers. Join us as we examine and know if there is more to the story than joining us on this journey. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned to discover the reality behind this. Drilling is a vital and frequent activity that's employed in a variety of disciplines and businesses in our daily lives, including oil drilling and building. Drilling necessitates the use of massive mechanical instruments that delve deep into the earth, sometimes through many layers of rock and mineral. Drilling machines are equipped with a revolving mechanical instrument known as a drill bit, which is used to cut and remove materials in order to dig deep under the earth. Drill bits exist in a variety of forms, materials, and sizes, and can drill a variety of holes in a variety of materials. Because drill bits play such a crucial part in drilling, it's critical that the material used to make them be robust. Steel is a frequent material for drill bits. However, they proved ineffective since they had difficulties passing through hard rocks because the metal is insufficiently robust. Furthermore, when utilized for an extended period of time, they tend to overheat and collapse. China, like other communist regimes, enjoys mega projects. They've started excavating a huge hole now. So the Chinese counties, which he loves to present as a highly capable meritocracy, can get things done in the same way as chaotic democracies do. They do this by informing you that they have a difficult time demonstrating it, especially with their huge technical projects. This mega project is a 10,000 meter, almost 33,000 foot deep hole in the earth. China is drilling so deep they are reaching dinosaur eras. The stratum contains rocks that are 150 million years old. China's top oil producer has begun drilling a hole in the country's remote Taklamakan Desert that is anticipated to reach a depth of more than 10,000 meters. The borehole would be among the deepest ever bored, providing researchers with new geological insights and access to ultra-deep oil deposits. It will also be the world's second largest economy exploring new frontiers, not just above but also below the planet's surface. The China National Petroleum Corporation began digging the borehole on May 30th, according to China's state-run news agency Xinhua. According to the article, the small borehole is intended to reach a depth of 11,100 meters. China is drilling what will be the country's deepest well. The drilling began in northwest China's Xinjiang region's oil-rich Tering Basin. The borehole's completion marks a watershed moment in China's deep earth research, presenting the country with an unparalleled chance to explore portions of earth far under the surface. The borehole is being built in the Taklimakan Desert, China's biggest desert, narrow shaft to reach the Cretaceous system in the earth's crust. According to the article, the narrow shaft being built inside the earth, together with the drill bits and drill pipes weighing more than 2,000 tons, would reach the Cretaceous system in the Earth's crust after piercing more than 10 layers of rocks or continental strata. The Earth's Cretaceous system contains rock that dates back 145 million years. Drilling a borehole more than 10,000 meters deep, according to technical expert Wang Chunchang, is a daring move to investigate the Earth's uncharted terrain and push the frontiers of human comprehension. The construction difficulty of the drilling project can be compared to a big truck driving on two thin steel cables. Sun Jinsheng, a scientist at the Chinese Academy of Engineering, told Xinhua, the Tarim Basin, where the borehole is being built, is one of the most difficult locations to investigate due to its hostile earth environment and complex subsurface circumstances. In his speech to the nation's senior scientists in 2021, President Xi Jinping advocated for more progress in deep earth exploration. Such exploration aid in the identification of mineral and energy resources as well as the risk assessment of natural calamities such as volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. The Russian Kola Super Deep Borehole was sunk for 20 years to a depth of 12,262 meters or 40,230 feet in 1989. According to a BBC article, the Kola Super Deep Borehole is so deep that residents think they can hear the groans of victims tortured in hell. The borehole, which would be placed in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in the country's northwest, would be the deepest in China and one of the deepest in the world. The world's deepest hole is the 12,262-meter Kola Super Deep Borehole in northern Russia, 
which took 20 years to drill. Sinopec, a petroleum refiner also engaged in the project, stated in a statement that they want to dig this new borehole known as Project Deep Earth 1 Eugen 3 3XC well in record time. According to Bloomberg News, the objective is to drill to the maximum depth of 457 days. According to Xinhua, the bottom of the excavation would reach rocks produced between 66 million and 145 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. However, Quan Yu Liu of Peking University in China, who is familiar with the project, believes the drilling will reach even earlier Cambrian layers developed more than 500 million years ago, which some geologists believe are the source of oil and gas in the Terran Basin, a significant oil field. The drilling is being done to discover whether there's still the occurrence of oil and gas in the ultra-deep depths, he claims. Chinese President Xi Jinping selected Deep Earth as one of four major areas for the country's scientific community in a 2021 speech. At the time, Yi Gangshu of the Chinese Academy of Sciences stated that the increased emphasis on geological research was primarily motivated by China's desire to lessen its dependency on mineral, metal and oil and gas imports. The Terran Basin in Xinjiang is home to some of China's largest and deepest oil reserves and Sinopec has drilled more ultra-deep wells around the region. This includes the Shinbei oil and gas field, where the business claims to have drilled 49 wells at depths greater than 8,000 meters. It looks very much like an industrial oil drilling project as opposed to a scientific drilling project, says Edward Sobel of Germany's University of Potsdam. Research wells usually try very hard not to find oil and gas. Nonetheless, he believes the drilling initiative might provide scholars with insight into the Terra Basin's distinctive geology if core samples and geophysical readings are collected. According to Sobel, the basin is nearly a billion years old, with solid bedrock topped by hundreds of millions of years of silt. You've got a pretty continuous pile of sediment from the Cambrian period on, he adds, comparing the layers to those visible in the Grand Canyon. Let's delve deeper into the matter. Follow us. China hasn't published much about the borehole's features or the types of research and analysis that will take place after it's completed, but it might assist to validate what we think we know about the Earth's crust. Because the continental crust extends to depths of roughly 30 kilometers or about 18 miles, this hole will not reach the mantle. As you may guess, it's a massive technological project. The hole will take more than a year to complete and 2,000 tons of equipment and instruments, including drill bits and drill pipes, have been brought in for the work. The Kula Super Deep Borehole is an example of how challenging drilling to these depths may be. Work on that project began in May 1970 and lasted until 1994, with a total of five boreholes drilled owing to mechanical failures and breakdowns. It was nevertheless highly useful. Scientists discovered water and hydrogen at unexpected quantities of depths. Another intriguing find was minute plankton fossils, roughly 6,000 meters or 19,685 feet below the surface. The drilling project's construction difficulty can be compared to a big truck driving on two thin steel cables. Chinese Academy of Engineering scientist Sun Jinsheng told Xinhua, the equipment used to drill the borehole will have to survive temperatures of up to 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit and air pressures that are 1,300 times greater than at the surface. When finished in around 450 days, the new hole in China will have passed through 10 continental strata, the layers of sedimentary rock that span across whole continents all the way back to the Cretaceous system which formed 145 million years ago digging deep as part of China's national security strategy. China is in desperate need of natural resources such as minerals and oil, both of which are plentiful in Xinjiang. Wang Guanghua, China's Minister of Natural Resources, emphasized the need of procuring raw materials and energy domestically to reduce reliance on foreign sources in January. Once the international situation changes, it'll inevitably affect my country's economic security and even national security, he told People Daily in an interview. Aside from the potential for natural resource discovery, deep earth drilling might provide China with a better understanding of seismic activity and natural catastrophe threats. Deep earth exploration is only one of China's strategic priorities. President Xi Jinping gave a speech to the country's scientific community in 2021 detailing four areas of concentration for their efforts, deep earth, deep sea, and deep blue. Let's quickly look at some economic and environmental benefits of drilling. 1. It generates jobs and stimulates the economy. 
aside from the United States, recovering crude oil and natural gas have helped Russia, Saudi Arabia and China attain economic stability. Gas and energy prices fall as a result of domestic production, which influences how well an economy performs. 2. Increases oil production According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration's International Energy Outlook Report, the world's supply of crude oil, biofuels, and other hydrocarbons will be sufficient to fulfill liquid fuel demands until 2050. Crude oil demand has risen throughout the years. In 2010, daily oil demand was just 86.4 million barrels per day. Since 2018, the United States has been the leading crude oil producer. Oil originates from 32 U.S. states, and in 2021, roughly 29% of crude oil come from the offshore wells. 3. Helps developing countries As oil drilling and exploration technology evolve, emerging nations with undeveloped oil resources will be able to maximize the economic potential of these assets and become less reliant on oil imports. It not only helps them become self-sufficient, but it also allows these countries to actually flourish. 4. Makes way for new habitats Many people are concerned about the possibility of oil leaks, which might devastate the environment, marine life, and adjacent villages. Oil rigs, on the other hand, can serve to create unique habitats for many organisms, such as birds, fish, and other aquatic critters. 5. Reduces tax liabilities and supports investment accounts Government royalties generated by the operation of offshore oil rigs can be utilized to reduce the tax responsibilities of localities or even larger demographic groupings. Similarly, oil is an excellent option for people to invest in commodities. While not immune to volatility, geopolitics and other variables, investing in oil may help diversify portfolios and generate favorable returns. 6. Pushes the limits of technology and exploration Despite the fact that we can drill the ocean floor for oil, we know very little about deep ocean habitats. Before drilling oil wells, significant surveying and exploration of the region must be completed. That implies that every time a new offshore oil rig is built, corporations have the opportunity to explore the area and learn more about the ocean. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating trip as we've successfully looked at the giant hole China is currently drilling. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fascinating insights into the world of mega China projects.